My name is Chris Bauer. I'm the president and CEO of Fuse Aerospace. I'm very excited to be here with Rover and Wing at HAI to talk about instrument flight procedure development. Fuse is the largest non-FAA search provider in the U.S. As a third-party air navigation service provider, our customers are helicopter operators, hospitals, teleports, airports, governments, airlines. We have a very wide spectrum of instrument flight procedures that we develop, uh, specializing in satellite-based navigation. This chart behind me is an example of one of the first LP helicopter instrument approaches that we developed. One of the benefits of the LP is there are applications where an LPV approach may not work, but we can provide a tighter containment than you would normally get with LNAV. You'll get better minimums with LP. And this is leveraging the ROS constellation or SBAS to go from a 10 meter accuracy of raw GPS to a 1 to 2 meter accuracy that ROS provides. So we pull in less obstacles where we achieve better approach minimums. So we build a variety of LPV approaches, LP approaches, as well as LNAV approaches. Another service that we provide our customers is teleport certification. This is an example of teleporting at a hospital in Hot Springs, Virginia. That we went from a pile of dirt to an IFR certified heliport. And we did this, as you can tell, in a very short amount of time, I mean, less than a year. And um, this included everything from certifying it with the FAA, all the validations, inspections, everything was handled by Hughes. So we were able to do this on a very timely basis. Very key medical center uh, in the region where they intake a lot of patients and then move them on to other facilities um, that specialize in whatever care that they need. We've also been working with the FAA on copter PBN uh, routes. So performance-based navigation, what, what hadn't been done before is copter routes were treated as uh, segments of approaches. What we sought to deliver was a standalone route that you could navigate a helicopter between heliports. This particular route uh, is designed as an RMP route, so required navigation performance. Previously, helicopters had not taken advantage of RMP, but working with the FAA, they've come out with newer criteria and their processes constantly evolving in the next gen to improve this. So our customers are now benefiting from RMP airways. In fact, we recently certified the first two RMP airways. They're built to an RMP.3 specification. So that means in just over a mile of airspace, you can have a dedicated copter airway. Whereas in the past, you would need six miles of airspace, which you may not be able to get. So you can thread the needle, so to speak, using RMP, leveraging again the RAW system to provide that accuracy. For a helicopter pilot, this is important because it gives you access to airspace so you can get an IFR release to go fly. It also allows us to build the approaches in a the routes closer to the surface. So in areas where you're experiencing icy conditions, um, you're not having to climb up to 12,000 feet. You can operate at a much lower altitude and have a much better containment and accuracy. So air traffic is excited about this as well. Other things that Hughes provides is when we go out and we survey heliports and airports and runways, we um, become a U.S. Uh, operator of UAS so we're licensed by the FAA to operate as a remote pilot and we go out and we can digitally map and get terrain elevations and digital models of heliports and runways and we can put this digital file on the cloud for our customers so in the future when they look to do construction at the hospital or they want to site a crane we can put that into the model and best help determine what that effect will be and do worst case scenarios. In the past, this, this was just something that was not available and the cost of getting a flight aircraft out to do all this photography and processing was prohibitive. But today you can see that we're, we're doing it. In fact, I did one two days ago, right before HAI in California. Another difference with Hughes is we operate our own flight inspection aircraft. And, and we do this for our uh, airport customers, our airline customers, and our helicopter customers as well. So there's no need for any of our customers to have to go out and find an aircraft or take an aircraft out of service 
to do flight validation, flight inspection work. That's something that we can do for you. So, in, in the operating cost of, of medical service helicopters, eight hundred, a thousand dollars an hour or more, finding the crews to pull out of service to do that work, as well as all the cases and missions that you would lose while that helicopter is not available, a thing of the past. We can take care of all of that for you at a much lower cost, and it's it's completely seamless to you. And this is what we want to offer all of our customers. A seamless service where you don't have to do the work, our people at Hughes will take care of it for you.